Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss different terminologies which are used in Kafka like producer, consumer, broker and topic. So let us understand. Let us start with producer. Producer is the application who wants to send data to someone. So we have a lot of messages which producer wants to send to someone. So in this course, we will use messages, data and events, these words interchangeably for the same thing. So producer is the application which wants to transfer messages to someone. Now consumer is the application who wants to read that data and do some processing. Kafka broker is a service which facilitates transfer of data from producer to consumer. That's why it is called broker. Now it is just an application which is running on a computer. You can also call it server. Producer will send some data to Kafka. Kafka will store that data on the broker. Whenever consumer wants to consume it, they will request from Kafka broker that please give me this data. Then Kafka broker will give that data to consumer for any kind of processing. I hope this flow is clear. Now producer may be sending huge amount of data which may be difficult to store on a single machine. So we would like to have multiple brokers on which data can be stored. So in actual Kafka will have lot of brokers which will be storing huge amount of data. Group of these brokers is called Kafka cluster. Now after understanding this let us move to our next point topic. Let us understand what is topic. We have a consumer application who wants to read data and makes a request to Kafka. Now consumer has to tell Kafka that which exactly data it is interested to read. <coughs> now consumer wants to read some data. Now consumer wants to read some data. It makes request to Kafka broker that please give me data. While making this request, it has to tell Kafka broker that which data exactly it needs. Because there are multiple producers who are sending data to Kafka. There is orders data, there is promotions data, and there may be other applications who may be sending data to our broker. So consumer has to tell broker clearly that which data it wants. This problem is solved by creating topics. Let us take an analogy. Suppose there are different teams who are storing data in database and you want to consume some consumers data. So you will go to database and you will go to consumers table for consumers data. You will go to products table for products data and you will go to promotions table for promotions data. In similar way, if consumer wants to consume orders data in Kafka, it has to go to orders topic. For consuming promotions data, it has to go to promotions topic. So topic is a logical name given to one kind of data. So orders will be stored in orders topic. Promotions will be there in promotions topic. If I go by definition, topic is a stream of data. Let us understand a bit more about topics. Now consider we have two topics, promotions topic and orders topic. There is a promotions application which is putting data in promotions topic. There is an orders application which is putting data in orders topic. Now there can be multiple producers who may be inserting data in same topic. Similarly, multiple applications can also consume data from same topic. So this is very simple. Let us summarize it. So producer is the application which sends data. Consumer is the application who wants to receive. Broker is a service which facilitates the transfer of data from producer to consumer. It acts as a middleman. Topic is one stream of data is a logical name given to one stream of data. I'll meet you in next video to talk about partitions and offsets.